Good evening, Dan. Thanks for joining us tonight. Nicholas County named a new superintendent for their schools today after the recent resignations of both its school superintendent and a board member deeply involved in flood recovery. Eyewitness News reporter Bob Aaron tells us it's still unclear how the county will come up with the money to pay for a complex, often a contentious plan to replace and consolidate schools in the wake of the 2016 flood after bids came in some $50 million overestimate. While construction is underway for a K-12 school to replace flood-destroyed schools in Richwood, paying for the project, which is part of an overall plan that includes the separate Glade Creek site encompassing Summersville Middle School, Nicholas County High School, and the Nicholas County Career Technical Center, is still uncertain nearly seven years after the flooding that roared through the county. The exact amount to complete the project is not clear, but it appears the funding from FEMA, the state, and the county will fall about $50 million short of what's needed. Bids came in over estimate. The county does not have $51 million to put in the uh, school. The project has been delayed by red tape, court fights, and stung by construction inflation costs. Superintendent Donna Birch Tietrich and Does Board of Education agency. member Gus okay. Penix recently turned in their resignations, and Tuesday the board named Pocahontas County Superintendent Terrence Beam as the new Nicholas superintendent. Birch Tietrich will move to Braxton County as superintendent. Work is already well underway at the Cherry River construction site, but the funding questions affecting the other project could come back to haunt this one. From my understanding, yes, if FEMA would, pu would pull the funds back, then all, uh, everything would stop. And uh, we certainly don't want that. We want, um, hopefully we could have Cherry River ready to open in a couple years. And you know, that'll be going on nine, nine years if that happens then. We were advised that the changes could not be made and that it was one project and that um, the projects would be in jeopardy if we didn't continue to uh, meet the milestones, meet um, adequate progress. A meeting is expected Friday with the school building authority, the governor's office, the architect, and possibly FEMA in Charleston. More money or downsizing a likely topic. Beam, a former educator and principal in Nicholas County, will be moving into a tough job. In Somersville, Bob Aaron, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Bob. And Berg Tietrich will remain on the job until the end of June in Nicholas County. 